Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the channel, Full Time Outdoors. Today I decided I'm gonna do a little something different from hunting. Um, going, going over my Upland pants. Uh, you guys, you guys can see here, I own three of them. I actually own a few more, but those have been discontinued. So now I'm just gonna go over the ones I own and uh, use right now. Uh, you guys can see these three pants here. I use them in different weather situation and I can go over which one I like best and what I don't like about them. So hopefully it helps you guys out. So uh, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the one that I wear all the time. This is my pretty much my go-to Upland mm -hmm. pants. As you can see, it's a little dirty. Um, I do use suspenders on them. I do like suspenders over belts. Uh, so that's why I do run suspenders on them. I use are their first light suspender belts. They're about 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, other than that, this is my L.L. Bean up Tactical Upland pants. The fabric is actually real nice and soft. Uh, the front end of it, I do like a lot because it has pockets, open pockets, and zipper pockets. So it's, it gives you the opportunity to, uh, you know, put keys in there for the zipper pockets and just stuff your hand. And once it gets cold, you know, it's it's kind of clothed, clothed in, so it's warmer. And then they do have two ammo pouch. They call it a two-bullet pouch here. So you can stick it. It actually fits two bullets right in here. They actually have slots in it, so you can fit it in there. It's on both sides of the pants too. So that's the neat thing about it. So it fits left to righties. Um, so that's great about it. The back pockets are not zippered, but they are Velcro. So uh, it's a little different, but I actually don't even use the back pockets because I normally don't put anything in my back pocket or anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, you know, the pants right here looks, it's a very comfortable pants to wear. I can wear this all day and I don't have a problem with it. The front end of it, you can see there's, it actually has a lining on it, I think, I believe it's, I forgot what kind of fabric it is in the front, but it does have on, I believe it's nylon, thinking about it, and it does have a front pad from your thighs all the way down to your feet, and so at the bottom of it, they actually have this type of, it's kind of a rubber uh, coating on it, and it's another fabric that they put in over top, so it doesn't, uh, Fray much, so you just can see this is still intact and this is actually very durable other than the stitching on it. Now on the back end of it, um, it does come up all the way from all the way closer to your, your butt, so that it protects you from other thorns and stuff from coming from behind. Um, it does have a little room here, and you know, so you can knees can actually your knees can bend and stuff. But other than that, this pants is awesome. This is my go-to pants. Um, it's been seen, it's seen probably five years of uh, abuse already from uh, hunting every weekend. So it's been great. I still wear it mm -hmm. to this day. Uh, I don't have anything that I, I mean, there's some things I do dislike about it. But other than that, it's a great pants. So one thing that I don't like about it is, you know, even though the pockets are here in it's open pocket, uh, I don't like the fact that when you're walking through, um, the field stuff can get inside and it gets messy and dirty so you can always you can always have to dump all your pockets and same thing with the bullet pockets uh pouch right here there's always stuff getting inside there so that's one thing that two things that i don't really like about it other than that it's been a great pants the front end is nice i mean it's not gonna hold you know it protects you but it's not gonna protect you from like sharp thorns or anything but it does work really well it's held up great. I haven't had any rips or tears on these pants. Um, the only thing I did have, however, as you see, it's starting to wear out on me, but um, you know, it comes with use. It's been five years, so it's, it's about time. And the only thing that I do notice when I bought this pants was the stitching on the bottom of the footing. Um, it's, mm -hmm. It comes off, so as you guys can see, it's pretty much off now. And I tried sewing it with some heavy duty um, yarn and stuff and it doesn't hold up that well but you know I can't expect much out of it and you know it's it works well I mean it gets a little dusty trapping in all the grass and stuff but other than that it's a great pants um, I can go through another one for you guys so this is the LL Bean Tactical Upland Pants all right so then my next pants uh, that I do use um, this pants I only use mainly for when it's raining or wet. Uh, this pants is Gore-Tex. It's an L.L. Bean waterproof pants. It's Gore-Tex, so it's waterproof. 
Um, that's the great thing about it. You don't get wet in this at all. I've had it for a few years. I, I only wear it when it's raining out or in the middle of a snowstorm where it's, I'm, I know for sure I'm not gonna get wet. And compared to, to my other L.O. Bean, you know, this is more of a wear every day to, when you go hunting, you know, when it's hot, when it's cold, you can layer it up. It doesn't get, uh, it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So that's the only difference between these. This one's waterproof and it works well. I, you know, I, I worn it in thick, heavy rain and have not gotten wet in it. Uh, you know, it comes with zipper pockets in the front and then zipper pockets in the back. So you yeah, have four pockets in total. And like I said, I do run suspenders on them. It's more comfortable than belts when you're walking and hiking up hill, um, a few miles a day. The inside of the pants, it's not lined with any fabric. So it's just straight Gore-Tex. So it, to me, I like wearing a base layer underneath it just because this kind of starts to rub and it gets very uncomfortable with that. Um, really good pants. Only thing that I dislike about these pants is it's not stretchable because it's Gore-Tex and it's supposed to be waterproof. So it's not, it doesn't stretch well and it gets hot. You know, it's, they say it's breathable, but to be waterproof, it gets hot, and, you know, as you're walking. So that's the only downfall of it, that it gets hot and, you know, it doesn't stretch as often. So, you know, when you're hiking up, hiking up dikes and stuff, it's, it, it takes a lot of leg work and you get tired faster. Um, the pants does come with zippers on the side of the, on the bottom of the pants so that you can unzip it so you can fit it over your boots. So you only have to, Try mm. to snuggling them up so you can just zip it up, zip it down, and it's good. The zipper does not come off, it's actually a waterproof zipper, so it works really well. And as you guys can see, it's seen some use, but like I said, I only wear this when it's raining out, so I don't really touch it at all unless it's raining. Um, all right, so in my next pants, it's a pants that I just bought recently. This is the Orvis Pro Pants. This is, so far, for me just trying around the house, it's very nice. It's a very nice and light pants. Um, the fabric's awesome. If I was to wear this in 70 degrees weather, you're not gonna feel hot or anything because it's kind of like the breathable pants where like, you know, bass fishermen's wear, you know, some stuff like that. So it's made for the hot weather. Um, like, like other pants, this one comes with zipper pockets and zipper back pockets. So you can, storage is great in it. I don't have the suspenders attached to it yet because I will be ordering some in for the, just this pants. I do like to run different separate suspenders on them so I don't have to take them on and off from each pants. Inside is lined, really comfortable. Um, I've tried it on and I can wear it all day. This feels like a normal pants to me. It doesn't have, mm. it's not heavy or it doesn't feel heavy in the back from the front end, the lining to protect your legs or Phenomenal. I mean, I would say it's it's similar to the LL Bean, but it's just a little bit more. It feels lighter and um, softer, so it has to give it better breathability and stretch. The nice thing about these pants that I do wish that the LL Bean would have is vents, air vents. These are air vents, so in case it gets it gets too hot, you can unzip them to get some more air circulation into your legs. The only downfall of this I see is it's on the outside of the leg, so I can see stuff getting caught in it and thorns getting caught catching it and ripping it. But other than that, it's great to have some vents out there for walking. Um, at the bottom of the leg, it actually, the, the actually has a boot cuffing. So you can actually put this, run this over your boots so that stuff doesn't get inside your boots or water doesn't get inside. It's kind of neat to have so that you have that there so you don't get snow climbing up your boots and stuff to get you wet. Uh, this is uh, actually water resistant as well as, so it's good about that. It's, you know, you're not gonna get wet for just a few raindrops, but I'm sure if it starts pouring out, you're gonna get wet. Only thing I don't, mm -hmm. this I dislike about this pants, I did notice when I first purchased it, it has the protection in the front end of the pants. 
and that's great. But I did notice that on the back end of it, there's really no protection. There's no, there's nothing back here besides on the very bottom of the footing, it has some of the front cover protection of it. But other than that, this pants has no protection in the back. So pretty much, you know, if you get caught with thorns in the back, you're gonna feel it. Um, yeah, yeah, it covers your front end of it, but the back end is not really there. And that's the only downfall of these pants. Um, you know, these are button pants, they clip on and the zipper is great. But like I said, the only downfall of these pants are the back end, that there's no, pretty much no, another another layer of protection pretty much like what I'm saying. But the front end of it looks great, feels great, it's light. I would say out of the three pants, this is gonna be the lightest pants I own. Um, things I would use for this pants, the hunting situations I would use for this pants is gonna be early season in Minnesota where it's 65, 70 degrees or higher, even higher. That's this is when this pant comes into play because it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be light and it's gonna be real breathable so I don't get hot often. But out of all these three pants situations that I like to use them in. I can go over that real quick. Like I said, my LL Bean's gonna be my go-to. You know, I like this, I love this pants. This pants is awesome. So this is gonna be my mid-season to late season pants. You know, I can layer up, base layers layer up, layer up and I'll be good to go. This pants right here, my LL Bean waterproof pants. And like I said, it's waterproof. It's gonna be used in the rain and snow where I know it's it's wet snow and I know I'm gonna get wet because the pants, the, as this LL Bean's not waterproof, it's water resistant. And then, my Orvis is gonna be early season. This is gonna probably more likely gonna be used for early season when it's like I said earlier, can be 70 degrees or higher. So that's why I'm gonna that's why I bought this pants, just to be used in the weather mm -hmm. so I can switch on and off. But other than that, these pants are great. I do like it a lot. Um, I hope this review helps you guys out with everything. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of brands out there, you know, I do like some other brands out there that I want to try out. So I might be giving them a try now. Um, I'll post new videos of it if I do end up buying them and trying them out.